The Minister of Finance has unveiled a three-year import substitution plan for Nigeria. What exactly are we looking at here? Well, there are a number of reasons why that is necessary. You discover that uh, Nigeria is high import dependent, even for the uh, products or produce that we have capability of meeting local demand, we're still importing. And so there is need for that import substitution plan in a way that Nigeria can at least make use of what it has and uh, thereby also earning foreign exchange and conserving uh, uh, reserves. That is why you have that plan. And I believe that given the commitment of the current government and probably the next government, whatever next government comes in in Nigeria, to implementing reform that will benefit the economy, that plan should be implemented. And you also see that what has happened in the past is the fact that there, are, there were such plans, but there were no commitment to implementation. But in recent times, you see the, the, the commitment of the federal government yeah. to implementing reforms and the fact that even the, there is no agitation against such reform from the populace. I mean, it points to the fact that Nigeria is ready for necessary reform that will move forward in economic development. This is not the that first the time, though, Yomi, that a, a, such a plan's been put in place. Now, you talk about the commitment of uh, the local government, but we are standing on the threshold of an election. Does that pose any risk to this plan being implemented successfully? I don't think, I don't think so, because, like I said, it's like even the people are ready for necessary reform that will move us forward as at the moment. That is why you see, even with the election, the federal government still show commitment to implementing power reforms, which you, you have, we have not seen any serious agitation against. So that tells you that even the people are ready for reforms, and any next government that comes in will have no option than to implement such reforms. So of I course, believe that uh, Yomi, this comes hand in hand with an expansionary budget that was recently passed by the National Assembly running, uh, uh, running its course. What are you making of the increase as well that's coming through on the capital expenditure side by the National Assembly and what these two plans together spell for economic development? Okay, there are a number of reasons why there are concerns about the budget, especially the expansionary uh, uh, trend we have in the government in the budget. One is the fact that even the, the current expenditure is on the high side and people are saying no, we have to bring that, bring that down. And I'm happy that the federal government is doing something about, about that, looking at it again with a view to review the recurrent uh, expenditure budget. But on the capital side, yes, you see a significant increase from uh, by over half a billion, from 1 billion to 1.5 billion uh, by the National Assembly. And on, on, on the one hand, you would think that that is good because it is probably uh, aimed at infrastructure development and all that. But again, when you look at it from the point of view of the quality of government spending, you will discover that that may not have the necessary impact on infrastructure development and on the economy. And so that is why we, people think that it is necessary to bring down that, that, that budget and ensure that uh, uh, spending is of quality that will impact on the life of the people and on infrastructure development in the economy. You'll and be again, just you looking be on the, sorry to cut you short there, but we are running out of time and I want to take a look at uh, the currency movement. We're seeing the Naira strengthening further as more lenders offloaded, uh, you know, in the days, uh, offload in the days ahead, partly due to the impact of that new introduced Forex forwards contract. Uh, what's your view on the currency and how sustainable the kind of strength we've seen filtered through is? Well, like I, like I said before, mentioned before, the, the current situation is temporary. There are uncertainties people can see surrounding the election. And that is why you see very high demand for foreign exchange at this, at this point in time. But also the CBN is taking a lot of measures to assure people that this, this trend is temporary and will normalize after the elections, all things being, being equal. And that I believe what will actually happen. And that is why, again, the uh, forward market that has been introduced by the Central Bank of Nigeria is helpful in this regard. You discover that although the patronage for now is low, but it is, it is gradually picking up. The first auction last week showed a lot, I mean, just one bank participating in that, in that market with about 16 billion naira uh, demand. For this week, it has increased to three banks participating in that market and over a hundred million dollar uh, demand. So this will smooth out the demand for uh, foreign exchange over time. And you also see the fact that uh, the reserves have moved up from about 33 uh, billion dollars uh, to 36 billion dollars, I mean, as at yesterday. So that shows that 
the, 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 the foreign exchange reserve is growing and the, I mean, the Naira can, can actually be stable. 